In reflecting on Marcelo Bielsa leaving his post as the lead boss, he's said his emotional goodbyes this morning. He's gone into the training ground and he's collected his things and he's also said uh, goodbyes to those who he's formed quite tight bonds with over the course of the last few years when he's been in charge at Elland Road. Uh, there is uh, some sort of plan uh, for a permanent tribute to Marcelo at Elland Road. They're underway and more information is going to be released in due course, said a club statement uh, yesterday. What could a permanent tribute take the form of there's murals all over the city of Marcelo Bielsa it could be a mural it doesn't it matter does it I, I think it's a nice thing in the fact that there's too much cynicism and negativity around football and criticism and you know um, here's Alex Crook <laughs> <laughs> no but I just I just sometimes it's actually to hear instead of the negativity surrounding a manager's departure it's quite refreshing and positive to hear that fans are still saying thank you for what you've done yeah. although it's not ended well and yeah there should be something and there sometimes when you've had a voice in your ear for a very long time you need a different type of approach you need a different way of motivating you that maybe they haven't got anymore but you're not happy about it why are you not happy well, about it why do you not want people to celebrate success well first and foremost i'm not a fan of permanent tributes so soon after somebody has departed a club. And I'll tell you why. So Marcelo Bielsa is leaving today. He's, he's saying his emotional farewells. And I actually agree with Danny Murphy. I think he's probably earned that right by ending <laughs> Leeds' exile from the Premier League. But just say, for argument's sake, that next season he pitches up at Ellen Road as manager of Aston Villa. So it doesn't work out for Stephen Gerrard. Which he won't. And they turn to Bielsa. But he could manage another Premier League club. He's likely to retire now, he, apparently. He, he, goes to, he goes back to Ellen Road with, with that Premier League club and he wins the game after walking into the entrance doors through his own statue. You know, I, I made the same argument when Sergio Aguero left Manchester City. I know, unfortunately for him, it didn't work out at Barcelona, but there was every chance he could have come back to the Etihad and scored a goal for Barcelona, kissed the badge. He uh, gave, how would Manchester he City Manchester fans City feel an then? an amazing moment that will never be replicated ever in Premier League history. But just wait. Just wait until that person why? has formally retired. Just, why just why allow shouldn't that person be able to go back and enjoy it rather yeah. than so waiting what, until they can no longer see it So again. what you're saying is you're not completely against it. You're on about the... the the, the, the speed of it. Actually, I, he's I, completely against I, it, and he was, especially this morning, I when think he said, it's a gut reaction. put one up at Old Trafford. Well, I was going to say was... that. There is some breaking news, actually, uh, this morning. We've, <laughs> we've, we've, we've brought a lot of breaking news. Apparently, there are also plans uh, for a permanent uh, memorial for Marcelo Bielsa at Old Trafford. After all, he did allow the worst Manchester United team in the history of the Premier League to score 15 goals in three games against Leeds. The problem Leeds. with you is you don't understand what it means to Leeds fans. And this is something that, I, that you, you... I mean, look... You're not a Leeds fan. You're a Manchester United fan from the south. You don't know what it's like to have been in the in the in the lower reaches of the division for, for 15, 16 years. They've been out of the Premier League and out and away from the big time. I this get is, that. This I is get just that. one. This is just one Leeds fan who contacted us this morning who said, "Look, we'll be in Bielsa morning for at least ten years. He was more than a head coach. He was an absolute gentleman who took a bunch of below-average Championship players to the Premier League and developed the likes of Calvin Phillips, Bamford, etc. into England internationals. He changed the city." We all fell in love with football again after 16 years of depressing dross. Non-Leeds fans, just look at the recent poor city results against teams that have spent billions on players, on wages, and they don't get it. He was so much more than that. And unless you're a Leeds fan, you don't understand. In fact, I've read a lot of rubbish from Tim Pop Football Club fans that he wasn't all that. Have they ever been to Ellen Road? They just don't get us. Yeah, that's Not a dignified way for him to to be booted out. It's about, how you, it's about how you gauge success. Success for Leeds wasn't just getting into the Premier League. It, it, it was the mentality he's created, the feel-good factor at the club after years of feeling, as he just said. Did he do it on a shoestring? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much in the first... Getting them out of the Championship, their budget, I, I can't remember how far down they were in terms of budget at the time, but they weren't up there. The... Because the Patrick Bamford transfer fee, I'm just reading here, was was due to rise to ten million pounds. But if you take he away the, quite an integral part on them, he did. Into the but Premier even if you League, take away he? the finances for a second, when you when you go into a club that's been on in the player. doldrums for so long, to lift the whole city. Also, I think as well things like and you you can you can talk about some people are a bit cynical and say PR stunts. You know when he's got them out picking up litter when he's got them the the mindset change of those players because they were struggling they weren't great but it's a PR stunt if it's done most other places but with him he believes in that sort of collective let's speak to Leeds fan Stuart who's joined us live from South Yorkshire I think you're in Sheffield this morning and to Simon who's a Leeds fan as well let's start with you Stuart what do you have to say about Bielsa losing his job and uh, possibly Jesse Marsh coming in yeah, morning, lads. Um, morning. Just a quick one before I start. Um, Alex, I'm sorry, mate, but you've had an absolute Western supermare there, pal. There's a shot. Um, you, you know, it's 
it's not what he's done. The, 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 this memorial is what he's done over the last four years to take that club from his obscurity to where it is now. It doesn't matter what that guy does now over the next two or three years, whatever club it goes to. He has cemented his legacy at that club. What um, if he taken you down it. this season and taken you back to obscurity? How would you feel then? This, this, this is where my point comes in. Um, I, and I might get some Leeds fans that might disagree with me here. In fact, quite a lot will disagree with me. As much as what he's done this season and to what he's done over the last two or three seasons... I think the timing was actually right. Mm. Um, and I'm taking that from Brad Rosani as is the fact that he's done a business decision here. That if we get relegated, no matter what he's done to the club, we get relegated, we, we stand to lose £180 million. And basically, Brad Rosani has made a business decision on behalf of the and, club. And you were hurtling towards the relegation zone because we of the way we that he was setting the team up. Yeah. Nin- 19 goals in five games, it's, it's relegation form. Now, as much as I love that guy and as much as, as much as I love what he's done to this club and taken us to where he's taken us, it possibly was maybe the right time for a change. And I don't know much about the Jesse March, about what he's going to be bringing to the club. Um, but it, it, it pains me to say it, but it possibly may be the right decision. It may turn to the end of the, of the season and we still go down. But... We'll never know. If it's worth it's, it's worth the risk. Yeah. Cheers, it's cheers. worth the risk. I think, and I yeah. think you agree with yeah. that, Crookie, don't you? Yeah. The new guy has struggled in his last job. Thirty-eight percent win record, twenty-one games at RP Leipzig. Yeah, there's a little this bit the more only... context behind that. Yeah, there is, which you can give us in a sec. But I was just going to, on a more general level, before that, he's had success. Mm. He's been really, really good. He was very well thought of. Of course, the success he had at Salzburg and New York, although you could argue MLS success isn't really that relevant. He's a product of the Red Bull system, isn't he? And he yeah. worked with uh, Ralph Ranick, and he's a, he's a counter-pressing uh, adoptee. He's, he follows the same sort of system as uh, Ralph Ranick. We'll talk about him a little bit later on. But Simon is a Leeds fan, and, and, and you don't think that Bielsa should have changed his ways? No, so I kind of admire him for for not wanting to change his, his tactics. If that's his principle, fair play to him. Don't don't change it. How often do we hear people say, "Don't change your tactics"? Don't, Even if you don't go down, your playing style. Well, we'll never well, know. That, now. that comes on to the next. That comes on to the next point because I was filming the camp of right. We need something needs to change. We've shipped twenty goals this month. Something needs to change now. And as as sad as it makes me to to say this, if they also weren't going to change his ways, there was only one thing that was going to happen, and it was a new manager. If we'd gone down, I, you know, it, it, like the previous caller said, it would have cost us 180 million. We can't, you know, we can't go down. We can't go from 16 years of nothing to just having two years in the Prem. It's just, it's just it would have all been for nothing. Okay, Simon, thank you very much for your call. Appreciate that. Sorry, we've got to get uh, moving on. But uh, if you want to give your views on what Simon said, 03717 It looks like most people are probably of, of the view, despite the fact that it is a sad moment, it's probably the right decision. There is no guarantee that Jesse Marsh is going to come in, change the tide and uh, keep Leeds United in the Premier League. They've got some tough games coming up between now and the end I'll of the season. I'll tell you what I would do quickly, Simon. Six pointers. With the, we're looking at the players they've got. They've got terrific pace in wide areas. They can play counter if mm. they need to I'd be making them a bit more hard to beat and playing a bit of counter for a while and get some confidence back OK uh, you're listening to Talk Sport it's Sam Adafest Danny Murphy and Alex Crook we're here through to one o'clock Jim White and Simon Jordan Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker Talk Sport